Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can show the document library structure into Power Apps. So for example, if you are having one of your SharePoint site holding the document library and folders inside it along with the documents and you want that to be displayed or to be shown on your Power Canvas app. So how to do that? So if I run it, you can see like uh, this is my document library and it's having the same folder structure, repo1, repo2 and the individual documents. And if I click on this folder icon, it should get me into the sub-level of folders. So sub-level folder and the documents. And if I click on sub-level folder, I should see the files. And if I click on the file, it should open the file in a new tab. So this same structure we are going to replicate in Power Apps. So I'll just close it and we'll just go to a blank Power App so that you can have a look how we are creating. I'll just create, click on new and we'll create this as in blank app. And I got my this white pane where I would start working. So as I said, like we'll be using the SharePoint document library as in data source for this app. So I would just, as in first step, I would just add this repository using this add data. So over here, I'll just select a data source. I'll type in SharePoint as a data source and click on this SharePoint and create a new connection. So once I clicked on that, it opened a pane in right inside. So I'll just say connect directly to cloud service because my site is in cloud itself. I'll just wait for my site to appear over here and I'll just pick. So this is my site and I will scroll down to choose my document repository that is repository. All right, so we have connected our data source as SharePoint. Now we will go back to our screens. So I'll just click on this preview and this is my screen one. I'll just rename it. First of all, I'll say folder or files viewer. And now I will just insert my gallery so that I can hold those items into my this gallery. So before that, you can have insert a label so that you can just say it's a document library and you can just fill back in color. Let me just fill it light blue and I just change the text of it as document repository and increase the font so that you can have a better look on the title just make it bold. So this is how you can just have a label in place first of all. And then secondly, I have to have the gallery in place. So I will just go to my this ribbon insert and will go to extreme right to choose the gallery. So there's my gallery. So I'll start choosing with blank vertical and connect this gallery to my repository data source. over here now i'll set the few of the properties so i'll just uh, uh, to make it more visible i'll just use template fill with a different color that's a white smoke so that i can see like it's a different color of my document repository and now i'll start adding few columns few properties to it so I'll just select my gallery again and insert a label. So you can see the label is now inserted inside my gallery component. And I'll do the same thing for my other three properties. So I'll just say, I'll just move them. So this is item modified and I'll again click on label inside it so by default you can see like it's binding itself to the by default column 
So first one is title. So title is giving us blank because as a document library, I have to change that to name so that I can show you the name. So now you can see, I'll just zoom out. So now you can see like I have this title as repo one, repo two for these vocabulary components. And this is a modified field, so it's fine. I'll just stretch it a bit more so that it can fit in and look better. And this last piece is modified by display name. So I can just quickly change the renaming of this title so that it can make sense. Modified by. And this is modified date. And this piece, the label two is modified. Uh, this this title, our name of the file. All right. So now I have three columns. So uh, now I would like to have one icon in place in front of my this gallery item so that it can detect is as a file folder. So that I will just again select my gallery component control and again go to icons and I'll choose one of the icon that would say it's a document so I'll just pick as this document and I'll just move my other property a bit right so that it can have a space for this document icon so now it's fine now you could see like all my this Everything is being displayed in one uh, without folder structure. So if I just make a run, you can see my repository folder, subfolder, all the items are there inside it. Now I have to make that folder structure. So first of all, this icon, I have to make like if that's this icon, if it's a folder, this item is a folder, then this icon should be a folder. So I have to set up the property for this icon. So I'll just set, go to icon. This one. So it's right now it's document, but I would just place one if condition if this dot this item dot is folder then the icon should be folder and if it's not then icon should be just file so now you could see i have just updated this icon as if this item is folder then the icon should be folder and if the document is normal document it should be just displaying document so if I just run it and scroll down you can see now I have this repositories uh, and folders as in folder icon and the other stuff as just file so now we have a clear distinction that what is folder what is not what is a file so now the second piece where I have to like so whenever I load up my library the document should be uh, rendered in a structured format same as my SharePoint library so only these two repositories folders and these two documents should be displayed and all rest stuff should be inside the respective folder so for that I'll be just creating I need one variable on start of my app which can decide like based on my folder path for example if I'm in repository one my folder path is repository one so based on this folder path I would be deciding that where should I be and what for files I should be displaying. So I'll just set up one variable on my app and over here I'll just choose on start. On start I'll set one variable and that should be variable path and path should be my repository. This is my document library name or I can just simply say repository repository 
yes for the sake of spelling i just pick that from the list and now my variable path is like while loading itself its variable path is home folder so that is repository my directly document library and i am setting this up on start of this app so for initial setting i'll just run this run by right clicking on it and run on start so the variable can be set that the initial variable would ordinarily be set up as my this repository and now i need to filter down my this document library this gallery based on my current path so that will decide like when in which folder i am right now landing so i have to go to my gallery and again i would need to go to items so what items it should be showing so right now is repository showing everything but now we are going to create one filter and that filter will only show the items which are under the current folder so i'll just open my notepad and over here you can see like i have created i have written one thing that is filter the repository where the folder path is my variable path so if you remember i just set up my variable path on application start as repository slash so that means it's a root folder and other than that like other than filtering if i just paste this filtering piece you can see it will start filtering my stuff and if i just run this and you would see like i just only got two folders and two files other files which are under inside these folders are not being presented over here because i have just provided the filtering on my this power app this gallery filter and along with filtering you can also specify which uh sorting condition you would like to specify you can have that so i have already written this sorting condition that sorted sort by the folders so if it's a folder then it should be coming up and then after that like with a name it should be descending so you can specify the sort by column function as well otherwise like filtering also works well so but it's better to sort by name and folder as well so that folders can take place uh, take first place while displaying your content so this is how we have filtered our gallery this document library's gallery and if i just run it once again so run on start so that my variable can be set and if i just do a preview my app and now i could see like i only get repo and document library on it and if i click on this link so nothing will happen because at the next step we are going to tie up something on this guy i can select so that it can go inside my document library same as if i just click on my this repo one it should go inside my this sub folder structure so that we are going to do so i'll just close my preview and again again go back to my gallery so i'll just select this icon so you can see i'll just pick up the property as on select and on select right now is a select parent but now we are we would require to go inside our main folder or parent folder to subfolders or files so we'll be changing we'll be writing the function so that we can just land to that page so i'll just show you what function i have written over here so if you see like if there is if if this item folder is this item is folder then we have to set the variable path with the item full path so that means like if we are landing to a sub folder then we'll be just setting up the path again and if we are not if it's a direct file then we'll be just opening that file using this item link to as a blank page and target new so that it can open a new window so now i'll just copy this and paste into my own icon select and i'll just again go to my app as run run on start so that i can set up my initial variable and now i will run this preview so again i got these folders and if i click on this icon so now you can see like it's is trying to do something 
and it landed me to a page where I have this subfolder and these subfiles and if I click on this subfolder it landed me to a page where I could just see the files belonging to that subfolder so the structure is same repo one subfolder it's having four or five files it's having four or five files if I just click on this file so it opened a file into a new tab and this is a file because it's a png it opened that as a image file so now we have our structure ready so you can see with this few tricks with few filtering gallery printing filtering and icon selection we have created the same structure which is there in the sharepoint library so this stuff we might have required like if you if you are preparing if you are building one app and would like to show the same folder structure or would like to give the functionality of uploading files and then showing those uploaded files in a respective folders then probably this is the video to watch and it's a quick way to create your document library structure using it and if you wish to have some go back or i would say like some mechanism so that while running it you would like to go back to a folder structure you can have you can have one button and you can play set up your variable path based on like which uh, folder you would like to land so that you can still do so i think like uh, this is the major crux of the video that how to create this folder structures and have that work in the same way as a sharepoint library does so that's it for today's video if you wish if you want to ask more questions then please do drop your comments and as well as like the video if it's helpful thank you